Celebrations were the order of the day. As the East African Wildlife Society marked 60 years in existence, starting as a venture between Tanzania, Kenya and Uganda in the 1960s, the society has since grown, drawing support from around the world. Among the high-profile guests who attended the anniversary event in Nairobi, China's ambassador to Kenya, Hungary's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and Kenya's Minister of Environment and Natural Resources. The East African Wildlife Society has been a firm supporter of our government over the years and has engaged my ministry in constructive ways to reach mutually beneficial decisions that seek to balance between the needs of development and the needs of conservation. We sometimes butt heads, but I see this as productive tension. China also praised the East African Wildlife Society for its work over the past six decades and promised to make wildlife conservation a top focus of Sino-Africa relations. A few weeks ago, my government announced a phased a schedule to ban on all ivory trees and possessing activities by the end of this year. And, uh, and as a first stop, by end of March, about uh, two dozen or three dozens of plants will be shut down. The East Africa Wildlife Society marked the milestone by launching the latest edition of its magazine, Swara, with China pledging to host the next edition. And, of course, no environmental event would be complete without an active bid to improve the planet. With that in mind, these trees were planted. Robin Smith, CGTN, in Nairobi, Kenya.